Welcome to the latest video weather briefing from the National Weather Service office in San Diego. This is Alex Tardy. The topic for this discussion will be the next heat wave and the Santa Ana wind that is expected to develop for early October. This video is about three minutes long. Here's the highlights and the impacts expected. We'll see the big change on Thursday with much warmer conditions developing. That'll be because of a weak to moderate Santa Ana wind developing over Southwest California. This will bring moderate impact. The impact will continue into Friday with that weak to moderate Santa Ana wind. We'll discuss exactly what that means. Temperatures will be hot uh, all the way to the coast on Friday. That hot weather continues on Saturday. That could be the hottest day on Saturday. And then a slow cooling trend, but remaining very warm for Sunday. Here's a look at departure from normal. This is our temperatures that are expected. And this is departure from normal high temperatures. The purple areas will see temperatures will they'll exceed 15 degrees above normal. The red will be above 10 degrees. So very noticeable warm conditions similar to our last heat wave that we had two weeks ago. What are those actual temperatures? I picked Saturday as the hottest. Friday will be nearly as hot. We'll be looking at temperatures getting up around 105 for the Inland Empire, getting in the upper 90s for inland coastal areas, even touching 100 in some places in San Diego County. So basically, temperatures that we see in the deserts will be the same along the inland coastal mesas and hills and inland valleys, such as the Inland Empire and along I-15 corridor. This map shows the locations where Santa Ana winds typically affect. Keep in mind the wind direction from Santa Ana's, which tend to start off from the north, quickly shift to the northeast, and then come around to the east towards the end of the vent. Those impact different locations at different times. Here's a look at the most prone areas for your typical Santa Ana wind. Let's take a look at the weather pattern that will cause this heat and weak to moderate Santa Ana wind event. Well, similar to a couple weeks ago, with that heat wave, upper level high pressure or a very warm air mass will build right over California with a center over Southern California. The difference is at the surface, high pressure will build. That's the cooler air across Utah. And that'll bring the pressure gradient necessary for that offshore flow or the Santa Ana wind event as shown on the right. This weather pattern is expected to occur between Thursday and Saturday. Please tune in to the latest forecasts and potential watches, advisories, and warnings as they will be changing and updated each day. Weather.gov San Diego. You can monitor the hazards on our page as well. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube if you're not already. Also, this is a good time to sign up to be a Weather Ready Nation ambassador if you have not already done so. Many organizations qualify for a Weather Ready Nation ambassador uh, with little obligation and little sign up. Check out Weather Ready Nation for more information. Thanks for tuning in.